So one day I decided to cartwheel across America. Well, like half of America. I cartwheeled way out of my neighborhood and on down into Arkansas, where I cartwheeled for quite a while until I made it to Mississippi, where I also cartwheeled for a while, but not quite as long, and then on up into Alabama, and then from there, clear on up into Florida, where my cartwheeling eventually got pretty bad. But the point is, I kept going clear on out to the ocean and on into the water. Yeah. So one day I wanted to make a cardboard saw like the paper saw I made. So I traced out a blade, cut it out, and then screwed it onto the angle grinder. And then I was ready to cut some fruit. I turned on my saw and started in on the apple. And it was working pretty well, so I kept going. And eventually I started in on the grapefruit, which ended up ruining my blade. So I took it off and made a new one from a cereal box. And then I screwed it onto the grinder and started trying to cut the cereal box in half. And it did pretty well and almost cut it entirely in half. And after that, I started back in on the grapefruit, which ended up running this blade too. So I ripped the grapefruit in half and then threw it in the woods and also threw the rotten apple in the woods. Yeah. So one day I took a power wheels to a fast food place. I got in and drove on up after a lot of struggle. <laughs> and then I pressed the button to order my food. I would like a corn dog and a large tot. All right, thank you. Then a car drove by and said, uh, 500. Thank you. My daddy bought it. I then sat there, waved at the camera, then played with all the car's buttons. <laughs> and eventually my food came. A corn dog and a large tot. Yep. All right, thank you. Much. Have a good rest of your day. You too. Thank you. Then I drove away with my food, and I think this is going to become my new go to vehicle. And it was a good corn dog. So one day, my family and I rented these cool scoot cars. I got in the green one, revved it up, and then took off. And traffic was kind of slow, so I stopped and beeped at a yellow one I saw. And then continued on down the coast. And my brother didn't like my driving that much, but I thought it was great. And we eventually made it to this curve thing where I raced my dad round and around. It was pretty hard to turn, though, and I almost hit the curb. And my dad did hit the curb. <laughs> then I decided to ride passenger and just enjoy the ride and the view. And I saw a helicopter. Then we pulled up to this ice cream place where I got out and waited for my brother. Then went in and got ice cream. That they actually rolled up and put into a cup and then handed to me. And it was pretty good. I then switched to the red car and drove out to a gas station. Where I filled it up and then drove it back. So one day I was just scrolling through TikTok and I kept seeing this apple bottle trend. So I drove to Walmart and went to the juice aisle to look for it. But there was none. So I left and went to a nearby Dollar Tree to look. And there was none there either. So I left and went to Target to look. And all they had were these big bottles that didn't crunch like an apple at all. <laughs> and I bought the bottle I bit because germs. And then left, went home, and then went back to Walmart the next day to look again. And then to a neighborhood market that had them, or so I thought. I took them home, opened one up, and then bit into it. And it wouldn't crunch. <gasps> that doesn't sound like an apple. I had got the glass bottles, but I drank it anyway, and it was pretty good, so I just kept drinking it. So one day it was my brother and I's birthday and he got me a rubber chicken. And then I drove to the dollar store to get him something. I went to the toy aisle, browsed around, and got a silly hand, a kazoo, a slinky, and to be funny, a get well soon balloon. <laughs> then some silly string for my own idea. <laughs> and some lifesavers to, you know, treat myself. I then went home and gave him the balloon. Then the kazoo. And the silly hand that he hit the camera with. And the slinky, then this. Happy birthday. Get well soon. So I've been making this giant rubber band ball, and it's getting pretty huge, and I'm probably not stopping. So I went to Walmart, got all the colored rubber bands they had, then went home, dumped out the bag of normal rubber bands, and placed that entire pile, which was kind of hard because of how big the rubber band ball is now. Then I took a couple days off and came back to place all eight bags of colored rubber bands, which took a while. A long while. But eventually I finished, and it's huge now. It weighs 21.6 pounds, and is a lot harder to throw and catch than it used to be, and almost impossible to make a basket with, like if you want me to keep going. So one day I went to the party store and got a bunch of giant balloons and a helium tank, and then went home to see what I could make fly away. I already had two blown up. I blew up the first red one, tied it, and then I blew up the second blue one and tied it. And now I had four balloons. And then I twisted and taped all the strings together and tried to lift up a weight, but it failed. So then I tried an apple. And it worked. After that, I had an idea to tie a box to the strings and send something away. I trimmed up the box and forgot the fourth balloon. So I tied it on and then went outside. And taped a Tesla Hot Wheel to the box and tried to send it to space. And it went down. So I ripped off some cardboard and it still failed. 
I ripped off some more and it went to my roof, then fell off. I let it go a final time and it took off and left on into space. Part two of floating down the creek in a hamster ball. So the current continued to take me away and I eventually tried to stand up, but I just fell. And I just laid there and the big current started to approach and I fell again. I eventually tried to stand up again and also fell another time and just let the rapids take me away. And it was pretty fun, but eventually my brother pulled me in and I got out. I relaxed for a second and then began towing the hamster ball back upstream with my brother. And the cows were in the way, but eventually they moved and we carried it to shore and on up into the truck. So I've been making this giant rubber band ball, and to be honest, at this point I'll probably never stop. So I went to Walmart, got a bunch more rubber bands, then left, went home, dumped out all the colored rubber bands, and began placing them. Until I was done with the entire pile, which took a while. But I did it, then took a break and came back later to start on the pile of normal rubber bands. And I placed that entire pile covering all the colored rubber bands. So sad. Then took another break, came back, and dumped out all the thicker rubber bands and began placing them. Until I was out. And the ball now weighs 19.2 pounds and is a lot harder to throw and way harder to make a basket with. Yeah, it's pretty big, so like if you want me to keep going. Part 2 of making a giant paper airplane. So I made this giant paper airplane and threw it off a bridge, but it failed. So I went home, assessed the damage, and put it in the dumpster. Then I reviewed the footage and knew what I had to do. I went to Walmart, got more poster board, then went home, swept the driveway, and set all my stuff down to begin construction. I again started by placing the four sheets together, and this time I used Gorilla Tape, and also used a different type of poster board. I folded the plane lots of times and just began making all the necessary, you know, paper airplane folds while adding tape, until I was completely done. And it was done and ready to be tested. Like for part two or watch the full video on my YouTube at Dylan Ayers later today. So one day I ordered a live straw that's supposed to allow you to drink any water. I opened it up, read the package, and then tried to drink with it. And it had the wrong end, but the other end wouldn't fit. So I went and got a container, dumped my drink into it, and then drank out of the wrong end again. And the straw made it taste kind of funny, so I got up and went to test it on hot tub water. And let's just say it still tasted like hot tub water. I spit it out and then I left and went to the creek to test out the creek water. This, I put my straw on the water and started drinking it. And... Tastes like water. I took another drink from the creek and then I threw the straw around my neck and left. So I've been making this giant rubber band ball and people seem to never want me to stop so I went to Walmart, got a bunch more rubber bands and then went home to start placing them. I dumped out the little bags first and began placing all of those until I was done. Which took a while. <laughs> Then I left and came back later to place all of the colored rubber bands, which took even longer, but now it looks pretty. <laughs> I left again and came back to place the last bag of thicker rubber bands, and it was finally done. And it now weighs 17.5 pounds, is bigger than my head, and is pretty hard to catch when you bounce it. And now it's noticeably bigger than a basketball, like if you want me to continue this ball. So one day I went to Walmart and got an inflatable rubber duck to float down the creek on. I blew it up and headed down to the creek and out onto the water. Under the bridge. I got on it, pushed off, and let the current take me away until I got stuck. I made it out, gained some distance, and kept on going down the creek. And when I got far enough, I waved goodbye to my brother and kept on going. The current slowed down a little and I had to paddle, but I made it out and before long, I was almost out of sight. But eventually I came back and drug it all the way to land and on up into the truck. So one day I wanted to see what all I could crush with rubber bands. So I went to Walmart and got a water gun, rubber bands, some Dr. Pepper, and a jug of water. Then I left and went home. I dumped out two bags of rubber bands, shook up the two liter, and started placing a lot of rubber bands on it. And then I just decided to go throw it because I was scared it was gonna blow up. So I threw it and it didn't do anything so i went and i tried again and this time it kind of worked and it looked like this and after that i started on the water jug alternating with my brother because it was kind of tiring and eventually i started messing with the cap and accidentally made it come off i was shocked i drank some and then i left and went inside to start on the water gun i placed a bunch of bands on it and then realized it never break and left so one day I wanted to put my giant hamster ball that's filled with ball pit balls in the creek. So I got a pull noodle and some paracord, untangled the paracord, looped it through and tied it on. And after that I went to the creek to plant it all out. And the only problem was some cows. So I went home anyway, deflated the hamster ball and put it in my brother's truck. Then I took it down to the creek, got in it, and let it air up. Psh, until it was done. And then I made my way down, over the rocks, and on out into the creek. 
where I walked for a bit and then laid down and drank my water. And eventually my brother let go of the rope and I was off out into the current, alone in my hamster ball. Like for part two or watch the full video on my YouTube Dylan Ayers. So one day I wanted to race my brother down the creek, him on a duck and me on a whale, each with one oar. We put them in his truck and headed on down to the creek, where we walked out to the launching point, got on and took off. And I fell, then got back on and fell again. The whale wasn't very sturdy and I just kept falling and falling. So I stopped to air it up some more and then got back on, eventually. And I rode fast enough to catch my brother and even pass him. And he also got stuck on a rock while I navigated on up. And I was the first person out of camera sight, so I won. I held my whale high while he drug his duck. And if you want to race people too, download this game I've been playing where you race people down a water slide. And can even knock people off. You can download it using the link in my bio. Rubber band ball part 9. So a lot of people don't know that it started when this watermelon exploded and left me with this water rubber bands. And ever since then I've just been adding on to it and this is the entire compilation up until now. And I needed more colored rubber bands so I went to Walmart but they were out. So I got gas and went to a different Walmart. But they were out too so I went to another one and they finally had some. Then I went home, dumped out a bag, and then got busy placing the entire pile of rubber bands until I was done. And then I left and came back later. I dumped out the colored rubber bands and placed that entire pile. Then I found some more rubber bands in the floor, placed those, and then placed a bag of thicker rubber bands that I also found in the floor. And I was done. It now weighs 14.7 pounds, is the size of my head, and bounces pretty high. And it's also bigger than a basketball, like if you want me to keep going. So one day I went to Walmart to get a Power Wheels, but they were too expensive, so I left and got this used Viper that needed a battery instead. I went to the battery store and got what I needed, then went home, screwed off the seat, then put the new battery in, and screwed the seat back on, and got on it, and took off. And drove down the driveway and into the road where it wouldn't move. So I gave it a little push, and then I headed for the ramp where I made a massive jump. Then I drove pretty fast down a hill, but the problem was getting back up the hill. And we ended up having to carry it, and then I put it in my car and took it out to the country to really open it up. I drove out to the road and floored it. Gone I went, and then I ended up crashing. And I got up and ran into the field, leaving behind my awesome Viper. Part 3 of making a giant paper airplane. So I made this paper airplane and threw it off a bridge, but it failed. So I put it in the dumpster and made a new and improved version. And then took it to a new spot to test if it was better than the other one. And yeah, it was. And it even did a backflip. But the wings still didn't have enough support, so I added some cardboard and went to try again. I threw it off the hill and had my best flight yet. My brother also threw it. And then I flew it a few more times as well. And something about the plane just made it kept doing flips and stuff. I don't know why. I left, and then the next day it was less windy, so I came back with my old, old plane as well to test them both out. And they both did pretty bad, but then I threw it again, and they did all right. And my brother had some pretty good throws. Phew. And then I left. Go watch the full video on my YouTube Dylan Ayers. So one day I went to Walmart to get the stuff to make my biggest cardboard boat yet. I got a lot of tape and a lot of cardboard, and then I left and went home to start building. I set up one sheet to start, and then I added another. I taped it all together, and then I added a final piece. Taped that piece down, and then I taped all the flaps down. And then after that, I started adding a second story of cardboard on top of this one to make it look more cool like a ship. I put the final piece on and then taped all around it to seal it together. And I taped all these flaps down as well. And then I got in with another sheet of cardboard to tape down the base. And then I flipped the boat over and started adding as much tape as possible to the bottom to try and waterproof it. And I ran out. Like for part two where I put it in the creek or watch the full video on my YouTube later today. So one day I ordered all this stuff to make elephant toothpaste. I dumped out all the water. Then added the first bottle, some food coloring, and the last thing. And it did nothing but fizz up a little. I guess I ordered the wrong thing. I kicked it and then blew the cap off. And then I went to Walmart to get the stuff to try again and they were out. So I calmly left and went to a different store. And they sort of had what I needed. And I went home, added the peroxide, the dish soap, the food coloring, and the yeast. And just my luck, I think the container was too big, and it just foamed up a little. So I dumped it out, and then sang a new hit single. Sometimes I don't wanna be happy. Then I touched it. Elephants really brush their teeth with this stuff? And bended it. Like if I should try this again. <laughs> so one day I ordered an inflatable couch to float down the creek in. I unwrapped it, and then let it air up, and got on it. And then folded it into a couch, and my dog got on it. Then we took it outside, put it in my brother's truck, and went to the creek. I sat by the highway and then carried it all the way down over the rocks and out to the water and out to the launching point where I pushed off. And it worked really well and was amazing. 
I continued on and then decided to lay down and just enjoy the ride. And then I almost ran into a tree. And I kept going out even further and waved goodbye to my brother. And before you know it, I was just gone, out of sight of anything but the GoPro. But eventually I came back and dragged it all the way back to shore, up the rocks, and into the truck, and all the way home. So one day I wanted to see what I could cut in half with a power washer. I first got this broken ramp and it did nothing, so I got a stronger tip and it still did nothing. It also failed on ice cubes, but cut a banana clean in half. Then I got a piece of cardboard and cut it until it worked. After that I took a piece of paper, folded it into a paper airplane, and sawed it right in half. Next I got a plastic bottle that I ended up having to secure and cut. And it put a hole in the bottle. And next I tried a can and it did nothing until I went to pick it up. Next I tried a plastic ball, failed, and a tennis ball, which actually kind of worked. It took like all the fuzz off, and at the end, it was pretty mutilated. Then I decided to do my foot. Ha, <laughs> it's like... So one day I wanted to make a giant paper airplane because my last one failed, so I went to Walmart, got some tape and some poster board, and then went home to start construction. I started by positioning four pieces together, and then I took some tape and taped them all together. Then I flipped it over and taped all the creases on that side. Next, I folded it in half, laid on it, and then unfolded it and folded all the little necessary folds in order to make the plane. I folded one side down, added some tape, and then folded the other side down and added some tape. Then I folded the plane in half and folded down one wing, and then folded down the other one. I added some more tape to it, and I was done. So I put it in my car and drove on out to a bridge to throw it off. It was kind of flooded, but I threw it anyway, and it totally failed. So I went down there, over a puddle, and into the woods to go get it. I got it out of the water, and it was totally destroyed. Like for part two for me to make a better one. Part three of filling a hamster ball up with ball pit balls. So it's pretty cool now, but everyone wanted more, so I went back to Walmart. And it looked like they were out, but I found five in the back and bought them all. Then I put them in my car, went home, and put cardboard over my broken ramp. Then set the hamster ball down and filled it up with the ball pit balls. Then got in and let it air up. And it was done. I went off into the yard and then I slid in it. Then I went onto the street and hit the ramp and disappeared. Then reappeared and went back onto the road, rolled around for a bit. And after that, I hit the ramp again and lost my water bottle. So I dove down and found it. Then I got out and jumped on it. Like if you want to see me put it in the creek. <laughs> Cardboard boat part two. So I picked up the boat and put it in my brother's truck along with an oar. Then we went down to the creek and I carried it down. Then I walked out to my launching point, got in and pushed off. Good job, boy. It was working. I'm doing it. I always I kept on rowing and it eventually started to leak. But I still kept on rowing. I was approaching a current, so I rowed it to land and dragged it all the way back. It worked. I rowed in it some more, and then I drug it up. Full videos on my YouTube at Dylan Ayers. Cardboard boat part two. So I picked up the boat and put it in my brother's truck along with an oar. Then we went down to the creek and I carried it down. Then I walked out to my launching point, got in, and pushed off. Good job, boy. It was working. I kept on rowing and it eventually started to leak. But I still kept on rowing. I was approaching a current, so I rowed it to land and dragged it all the way back. It worked. I rowed in it some more and then I drug it up. Full videos on my YouTube at Dylan Ayers. So one day I wanted to see what all I could destroy from dropping my band ball up high. So I went to Walmart, got a chair, a Hot Wheel, a lot of Diet Coke, a container, and a watermelon. Then I went home, set up a ladder, and dropped the Diet Coke, and it did nothing. So I threw it, and then I dropped the band ball in another bottle. And when that failed, I shook it up and did it again. And it worked! And then my brother threw me one that I dropped. And after that, I decided to crush the Hot Wheel, and it held up pretty well. And then I dropped the 21 pound ball on the bin, and it did the most damage so far. But... not enough. <laughs> and after that was this tiny chair thing that got kind of broken, and I fell. Next we dropped it on a water gun and a piece came up. Then I shook the rest of the Diet Coke up and knocked them over, and then threw them all, one by one. <laughs> and all this destroying was a lot like this game I've been playing where you drop and smash random stuff. Click the link in my bio if you want to download it. And lastly was the watermelon, and it got crushed. And I even ate some. 
So one day I wanted to put a bunch of ball pit balls in my giant hamster ball. So I went to Walmart and got 700 balls, took them to my car, loaded them all up, and went home. And put them all in my hamster ball with the help of my brother. Then I got in and let it air up. Pshhh. Until it was done. I splashed all the balls around, and then I headed off the stairs, into the driveway, and on out into the street where I slipped and fell. I then jumped up into the balls. And then I wanted to hit this ramp, and I just ran over it. Then I went back onto the road, ran for a bit, then fell again, and made a snow angel, and threw some balls. I got back up and walked off. Then I shook the entire thing, and then went back on home, got out, got back in, then got out, fell on it, and used it as a beanbag. <laughs> like if I should do it again with more balls. So one day I went out to this really cool natural spring in Florida, and I had to jump off this ledge to get in. So I did, and it was freezing. But it was also really clear, so I put my goggles on and swam on down. And then resurfaced for some air, and then went back down and spotted this really cool underwater cave and some fishies. And then I went back up and got some flippers to better navigate the water. I got in with them, and they did help a lot. And then I got sidetracked and went to this little waterfall and this tree I touched, and then drank some of the water in case it was the fountain of youth and then i swam back down to the cave and i could touch the entrance before i had to swim back up for air and then i swam down to a different cave i saw and it was pretty cool and then i swam back up and met this kid that followed me on tiktok i talked to him for a bit and then i left because i was cold part two of filling up a giant hamster ball with ball pit balls so i put 700 balls in but it wasn't enough so i went to walmart and got 800 more i put them all in my trunk and then went home set them all down put them all in my hamster ball, and then got in and let it air up all the way. And when it was finally done, I went off the stairs and almost took out these flowers, but didn't and went on out into the road, where I slipped, and then I buried myself until I was no longer visible. Then I got up, ran for a bit, then I shook the ball around and jumped in it, and got back up and ran over the ramp. After that, I figured out these balls would race around the inside. Then I got up and decided to fall one more time, then got out and jumped on it. Full vid will be on my YouTube doing So one day I wanted to put chalk dash lines all around my neighborhood like I saw this girl on TikTok do. So I went to Walmart and got some spray chalk and some regular chalk. Then went home and tried to make a stencil out of cardboard but failed. Then I tested out some spray chalk and after that I measured the middle of the road and marked it. Then I tied some rope to a hoverboard to try to pull me but it failed. Then I made it longer and it still failed. So I tried walking, but that sucked, and I thought it'd be easier with some normal chalk, but it still failed. So I got out a hoverboard I thought was broken, and it worked perfectly. And when I ran out of one piece, I got a new one, and kept going all the way until the end of one side of my neighborhood. I ran out again, but kept going, and then was done. And then I went back home, got some more chalk, and went out to the other side of my neighborhood to get started. And I finished off the neighborhood and ran out of chalk. And then on the way home, my hoverboard died, so I had to carry it all the way home. And now here's driving before the lines, and here's driving after. 